Well, so many lives are touched by cancer. It's an illness that affects people from all walks of life, both young and old. Every year, the people who are battling cancer and their supporters gather for Relay for Life. For the family of a young survivor in the northern suburbs, the event gives them a chance to get support and give back. The American Cancer Society Relay for Life. You're looking at Luminaria. It's the walk that honors the survivors and those who lost the battle to cancer. Ten-year-old Alana Rodriguez took part for the first time last year. Made me feel excited and happy. Days like this, playing basketball, laughing, and just being a kid with her parents, brother, and sister seemed like they would never happen for the Barrington fourth grader. She was diagnosed with a rare cancer at 13 months old. Surgery removed the tumor from her spine. Her parents believed the little girl was fine. But then a rare side effect developed when she was six. Elena's immune system attacked her brain, mistaking it for cancer. I was scared all the time. Exhausted. The result was painful seizures, sometimes as many as 200 a day. Elena could barely sleep. School was difficult. Her family felt helpless. It was utterly heartbreaking. She was exhausted and fatigued in a way that words can't describe. After medication did not work, Elena had surgery to remove part of her brain. That stopped the seizures, but the 10-year-old still wasn't the happy girl she was before. That's when her big brother Nick heard about Relay for Life and decided to start a team called Elena Rocks. She was a big inspiration. From a pool party like this one, a helping out with other American Cancer Society events, the Rodriguez family raised over $16,000 last summer. More importantly, going to the Relay for Life at Barrington High School last year raised Elena's spirits. The event came at a time that was hard for us. Elena wasn't doing very well. She was very sick. And um, the event was a lot of fun for her. She was able to have a lot of fun, and it really, I think it made her feel a lot better. Relay for Life was something that we could come together as a family, feel like we are going to have a positive impact and make a difference. The family is returning this year as Team Elena Rocks. It makes me feel loved and that people are supporting me. Relay for Life calls itself the official sponsor of birthdays. When is your birthday? November 25th. American Cancer Society Regional Vice President Kate Monteleone says every birthday for a survivor is a blessing. Relay for Life also remembers the people who are not lucky enough to see another. It's an experience of empowerment. It is rich with symbolism and a lot of fun. The family basketball games in the backyard are better than ever now. That Elena is healthy. The 10 year old likes the court, but she loves the track at Barrington High School during Relay for Life. I feel like um, I'm helping other people, and I really do want to help other people. Well, if you want to support the Elena Rocks team or you want to support our WGN Morning News team, you can get more information on our website at wgntv.com slash community. Nancy Lou, Frank, and I will be at the Barrington event on Friday along with Elena and her family. We hope to see many of you there. Up to now.